Sea level isn't actually level. The zero that we measure mountains from, it isn't the same everywhere, and I'm going to tell you why. For centuries, scientists used tide gauges, basically floats in sheltered pipes, to track the ocean's surface over decades. They averaged the ups and the downs from tides, storms, and seasons to determine what the mean sea level, or MSL, really was for an area. But gravity turns a simple problem into something complicated. In places where Earth's gravity is stronger, water piles up, creating areas above the MSL, and it sags in areas where it's weaker, creating dips below it. And when you add in currents, temperature, salinity differences, and local geological differences, the ocean's surface can vary by up to two meters or six and a half feet around the globe. Satellites like Topex, Poseidon, and the Jason series fire radar pulses and time how long it takes for them to bounce back. It's like measuring the time it takes for a flashlight beam to hit a mirror and return. Combine that with their exact position in orbit, tracked by GPS and laser ranging, and you get the ocean's height beneath them. Today, they can detect global sea level changes to within just a few millimeters. For hundreds of years, we've gone from watching floats bob in harbor pipes to firing radar from orbit, all to answer a seemingly simple question. What is sea level? And the answer is, it depends. Gravity, currents, and even the Earth's shape makes the ocean anything but level. So the next time you picture sea level as some perfect, unchanging line, just remember, 